I'm bringing, this is Dave Pobans, and he is our leader of Grief Share. We meet at six, six o'clock for about an hour. It is a 13 week program, and there is a workbook included in the program that people, when we start the program, we go through and we mark down all of our emotions. And after the 13 weeks, we go back to the first week where we mark down all of our feelings and emotions and we evaluate how we've progressed. It's a Christ-centered program, it's Bible-based, and it's non-denominational, so anyone is welcome. How I got into it was in a three and a half week, or three and a half year period, my father committed suicide, the next year my mother died, and my wife, who was a parochial school teacher, a year and a half later died of complications of breast cancer. And I was very, very angry, upset at God, and so I struggled for a long time. About a year later, I went through a, a program, and then a couple of years later, I went through the Grief Share program, which was sponsored by the Church of Christ here in town, and a gentleman by the name of Jeff Skipper was in the program. And he since has retired, so we then started the program here, and uh, uh, about a year and a half after I, my parents and my wife died, I was struggling. I told my son, and he said, well, you just get over it, Dad. And grief is one thing you, it's a lifetime experience, and you just don't get over a lifetime experience. And anniversaries like Mother's Day, your mom's birthday on Groundhog's Day, you know, all those kinds of things, of, of the celebrations that you used to do, you no longer have, and it's it's a hole, it's a vacancy. Yeah. And so we have people that go through the program and then they continue because we're a support program. And what is said at Grief Share must stay at Grief Share. You know, we're not a gossip group. We sometimes have, uh, we get Valentinos in and we have a group building so that we can group build and uh, connect with one another and support one another because everybody comes from a different background. I've had people who have lost a loved one to COVID who weren't able to see them until they actually died, you know, a, a period of weeks and months where they're in the hospital and uh, there's no connection, there's no final goodbye, and so there's a vacant hole. I don't care who you lose, there's a, there's a gap and a hole in your life. Well, thank you so much, David. Uh, yeah, quick question for you a little bit. Um, just wondering how many people, I, I've seen a lot of cars out there on Thursday nights. Well, right now, we have about 20 people, 18 to 20 people show up yeah. weekly, and we meet Thursday nights at 6 o'clock yeah. for about an hour. Yeah, and, and then we have a group breakdown, and we uh, get together in small groups to discuss cool. where we're at. Yeah, and I think it's so important to just know you're not alone in the grief in the morning um, and grief is a great place to yeah and it, it's a it's a gr good group that we connect with one another yeah. because when you connect with somebody who's going through it a lot of times people say they know what you're going through but unless they've walked in those shoes they have no clue yeah. what it's like to have lost a mother I can't imagine. a parent <laughs> or a wife yeah God um, bless everybody. Yeah, thanks so much, Dave. Um, you guys can register. You're good to go. Um, you guys can register for Grief Share on our website. Go to rsav.org, O-U-R-S-A-V, and then go to the adult, so ministries and then adult, and there's a little button that will take you there. Or if you use our, our church center app, you can click on Grief Share in the Bible Studies tab and get registered for Grief Share.